shall rejoice. This is the day make joyful noise. We are His chosen, called for to praise Him. Come on, His people shall rejoice.
the praise Hallelujah Glory to the King Jesus is worthy to receive the praise I come to praise your name, O Lord, and to glorify you as King. I lift my voice and I lift my hands in worshiping you, Lord. Hallelujah. have so many struggles right now. There is the health struggle. Hindi natin malaman, papano ba talaga nahahawan yung coronavirus? Sabi nung ilan, airborne. Sabi nung iba, hindi. Maraming ko ano nung mga naglalabas ang mga studies, pero hindi pa kumpleto yung science. At marami nang nahahawa at marami na nagkakasakit. Yung ilan nga eh, mga sikat na tao, mga asawa ng mga Prime Minister, and even a particular ruler of a country. So, mahirap, mayaman, mahirap na bansa, mayamang bansa, naapektuhan itong uh, coronavirus na ito. It is a health struggle. And some of us fear, actually, of getting sick by this. Pero bukod doon, ayan na ang financial struggle. Napakaraming mga ekonomiya ang tinamaan ito. Halos lahat na ekonomiya ng buong mundo tinamaan na ito. Kaya maraming natatanggal sa trabaho, maraming nadidelay ang sahod, maraming nagkakaproblema ang mga negosyo, at pati na rin mga simbahan kung paano nila i-maintain ang kanilang mga ministries, mga pamilya na hindi nila alam pa paano masusustain ang kanilang mga asawa, ang kanilang mga anak, ang kanilang pag-aaral, mga tinitiran, and the poorest of the poor, people na bago pa man nangyari ang mga problema ito ay may financial struggle na. And yes, there's also the emotional struggle. Ang lungkot-lungkot ng nangyayari. Napakaraming mga tao ang lungkot-lungkot ngayon. Namimiss ang marami nilang mga mahal sa buhay. Hirap na hirap sa sitwasyon. Iba pati frustration, pati galit, sama ng loob, and some even really, really depressed. And yes, there's the mental struggle 
of thinking about these things, of thinking about the future and its uncertainty, leading ultimately to some form of spiritual struggle as well. Not everybody is equipped to handle all of these struggles, but today, as a Christian, what can we do to overcome such struggles? Is the focus of our discussion, na mula pa rin sa pag-aaral natin ng Book of James, our message for today, pinamagatan natin the things that we can do to overcome our struggles. Title of our message for today, the things that we can do to overcome our struggles. Let us pray. Aming Diyos at aming Ama, nagpapasalamat po kami sa araw na ito. Minsan pa, binigyan niyo po kami ng pagkakataon upang sa inyo ay sumamba. Kasama ng mga kapatiran po namin dito sa aming worship center, and even those watching this as a video message through social media, sa Facebook, sa YouTube, we pray, Lord, minister to your people one by one. Tulungan niyo po kami, Lord, sa mga struggles na meron kami ngayon. Dahil naniniwala po kami, with you, we have the victory. That we will overcome and that we will rise up by the grace of God. Sa inyo po namin itinataas ang lahat ng aming struggles, health struggle, financial struggles, emotional struggles, mental struggles, and yes, even our spiritual struggles, we surrender them all to you. And we thank you, Lord, because we know that even this time of worship, we can experience the power of your Holy Spirit. We can experience your healing. We can experience your peace. And we can experience your blessing. And to you, we bring back all the glory, honor, and praises as we pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, and all God's people say, Amen. James chapter 4, verses 7 to 10. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Beautify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and He will lift you up. Mula po sa mga verses na binasa natin sa araw na ito, marahin po tayo matututunan tukol sa paano ba natin ma-overcome ang mga struggles na meron tayo ngayon sa buhay. Isa-isayin po natin yung mga nabanggit dyan, beginning with number one. Sabi riyan, submit yourselves then to God. Sabi sa James, submit yourselves then to God. And in another part of the Bible, in the Old Testament, sabi rin sa Job, chapter 22, verse 21, Submit to God and be at peace with Him. In this way, prosperity will come to you. Can we say Amen to that? Ang ganda-ganda po ng paalala na ito sa atin, ng James chapter 4, 7 to 10, and this time, mula sa Job chapter 22, verse 21, na napakahalaga na sa mga panahon tulad nito, na marami tayong struggles, ang unang-una natin iniisip, ang unang-una natin iniintindi at ginagawa ay yung pag-submit sa Diyos. There are many ways to do this, pero isa sa mga paraan kung paano natin napapakita ang pagsubmit natin sa Panginoon ay yung pagsabi natin ng, I surrender all to you, Lord. So if you tell me today you have health struggles, if you tell me today you have financial struggles, emotional, mental, spiritual struggles, I will tell you today, surrender them all to the Lord. Isubmit mo lahat yan sa Kanya. At bukod sa ito'y ating sinasabi, binibigkas, Bukod sa ito ay ating ipinapanalangin o dinadasal, i-worship mo yan sa Panginoon. For when you're singing songs of worship, when you're giving it all to Jesus, when you're glorifying God, yan yung mga panahon na nasusurrender natin sa God ang laman ng ating puso't isipan. Lalo na kung meron kang kabigatan. Minsan kasi yung mga struggles na yan talaga nagpapabigat ng ating kalooban. Kaya napakahalaga sa mga panahon na ito, mas lalo kang mag-worship. Tulad nito, merong online worship service. Bago ko nangaral, may kanta. Kumanta ka. Itaas mo kamay mo sa Panginoon. Iiyak mo yan lahat sa Diyos. 
isuko mo ang lahat sa kanya, iluhod mo ito sa Panginoon. This is the time that we must be broken before the presence of God even as we worship. Dahil sabi rin sa atin dito sa Job 22 verse 21 that when we submit to God, ang resulta nun is that we will be at peace with Him. Yun naman talaga ang mahalaga dyan eh. Sabi doon, submit to God and be at peace with Him. In this way, prosperity will come to you. We're all praying na matapos na itong problema ito. We're all praying na hindi lang ito matapos, kundi mamasustain pa yung ating buhay, yung ating mga pangangailangan, yung ating mga pinagdaanan at mga problema. We're all praying for that. Pero ang sarap isipin, na nagsisimula ang mensaheng ito sa paalalang, Teka, submit it to God. Surrender it to the Lord. I-worship mo yan sa Panginoon. At makakaasa tayo na pag ang ating ginawa, unang ginawa, mararanasan natin yung kapayapaan na siya lamang ang pwedeng magbigay. Ano pa ang sabi sa atin dyan? Sa James? Sabi sa atin ron, Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. In another part of the Bible, it says, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. It is a reality na pag alimbawa ang tindi ng pagsubok ng isang mananampalataya, the devil is not far behind upang palalain ang ating sitwasyon, upang ma-frustrate tayo, upang malid tayo, matem tayo to make wrong, foolish, and sinful decisions. He wants us to fail God's test. Kaya ayan yung mga temptations. Pag nararamdaman mo na parang nadidimonyo ka, pag nararamdaman mo para umaatake ang jablo sa iyo, ang sabi riyan, resist the devil. And the promise of the Lord is this, He will flee from you. Dahil tulad ng sinabi niya sa 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, you know, we're reading the book of James, Pero dahil napakarami mga gandang sinabi sa James 4, 7 to 10, nagbasa pa tayo ng ibang parte ng scripture ng Biblia upang makita kung paano sinusuportahan yung mga sinabi ni James in other parts of scripture. Kaya dito sa 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, sabi, kung ayan man yung devil, kung ayan man ang Satan, kung ayan man ang temptation. Again, it says there, 1 Corinthians 10, 13, and I read, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Kung ito ngayon yung temptation, kung ito ngayon yung atake ng jablo, pangawakan mo na bibigyan ka ng Lord ng way out. Meron kang kakayanan by the grace of God to say to the devil, to say to demons, to say to Satan, I resist you, I reject you, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. And what else? Mula sa James chapter 4, 7 to 10, ang sabi sa atin, Come near to God and He will come near to you. Dahil sabi sa atin sa Matthew 11 verse 28, Come to me, all you are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Kung meron isang bagay na magagawa natin ngayon dahil tayo'y naka-quarantine, naka-house arrest, is to come to God. Ito yung panahon na pwede natin gamitin upang mas lalong mapalapit sa Diyos sa pagbabasa ng Biblia, sa pagpipray, sa pag-worship, sa pagsali, sa mga online worship services katulad nito. Sa amin lang church, Sinisikap natin na at least two to three times in a day naglalabas tayo ngayon ng ating mga online worship services. Either ilang mga previous preachings natin in the past 
O di naman kaya ay mga bagong mensahe tulad nito? And the hope and the prayer is that sa pamagitan ng ganitong klaseng mga ministries, ay mas lalo tayong mapalapit sa Panginoon. That through these ministries, mas lalo tayong mapalapit sa Panginoon. Dahil as we do these things, pagdi-devotion, pagpipray, pag-worship, pagsali sa ganitong online worship services, nagkakaroon tayo ng rest. Nagkakaroon tayo ng kapayapaan. At naniniwala ako marami sa atin, yan ang desire ngayon. Yung rest that comes from God. And so you tell me it's hard to do that right now. Yes, it's hard. But that's why our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Napaka makapangirin ng ating Diyos. Kaya niya tayong tulungan at bigyan ng rest na kailangan sa mga oras na ito. Sabi nga nung ilan, parang sobra na yata ako talaga sa rest ngayon dahil puro tulog na lang ginagawa sa bahay, naubos na nga ang pwedeng gawin sa bahay o pwedeng mapanood online or sa YouTube. At pati mga ganitong klaseng services, parang nauuta na yung iba. Pero kapatid, if you will use this moment to come near to God, ang ganda ng pangako niya dyan, sabi, He will come near to you. At itong paglapit natin sa Panginoon will result in us na mas lalong maging banal. Dahil sabi rin sa James chapter 4, verse 7 to 10, Wash and purify. Which simply means to be holy. But again, it says in another part of the Bible, 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. Memorize na nga ng marami sa atin ito. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Ito rin yung panahon na binibigay sa atin ng Lord upang mag-reflect, upang mag-evaluate, upang mag-saliksik. Hilingin sa banal na Espiritu na tulungan tayo masaliksik ang atong puso, isipan at buhay. To repent of our sins. To turn away from our sins. To believe in the gospel, to believe in Jesus, to turn to God through Jesus Christ. Dahil lang nais ang Panginoon, mabuhay tayong lahat ng may kabalhanalan. Mabuhay tayong lahat ng may kabanalan. And, sabi rin sa James chapter 4 verse 7 to 10, Grieve, mourn, and wail. Sabi dyan, grieve, mourn, and wail. Which means for us to be broken. That sabi sa Matthew chapter 5 verse 4, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. If all of these things that are happening is breaking your heart, if all of these things that are happening is putting you on your knees, if all of these things has been weighing on you, talaga naman ang bigat-bigat ng pakiramdam mo dahil sa mga struggles na meron ka, hindi lang iisa, kundi sunod-sunod ang dami-dami. If you find it hard to sleep, or you find it hard to wake up, if you find it hard to eat, or kain ka ng kain, o naman ang epekto sa iyo ng mga struggles na ito, no. That as we are even struggling, ito ay means ni Lord to bring us to that point of brokenness. Dahil pag tayo nagiging broken before the Lord, when we worship Him, ang promise niya, dyan sa Matthew 5 verse 4, and again I read, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Marami sa atin yan ang kailangan ngayon. Yung comfort na nanggagaling sa Panginoon. So give Him your hurts. Give the Lord your pain. Give the Lord your worries, your fears, your anxieties, your questions, and even your doubts. Give to the Lord your struggles. Be broken before Him. Huwag kang mahiya umiyak. Huwag kang matakot na ibigay ang lahat sa Panginoon. Surrender all to the Lord. Dahil ang nakakagawa niyan, ay yung di sinabi sa James, yung may humility. Dahil isa pa sa iningi sa atin ng panahon na ito, is that we humble ourselves before the Lord. Because when we do so, the promise is this, humble yourselves 
and He will lift you up. Humble yourselves and He will lift you up. Dahil sabi sa 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6-7, to Humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand, that He may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. Talaga namang inahumble tayo ni Lord ngayon. Binababa niya ang lahat. Wala ni sino man sa atin na pwedeng magmalaki. Siya ang Diyos. God is sovereign. God is in control. Sabi nila nga nun, ang advance ng medical science, nasa ngayon yung advancement na yan. Sabi nila yung mga bansang ito, itong mga nasa Western world, in Europe, in America, in Australia, even China, they're all very powerful countries. Pero ngayon, they're all on their knees because of this global pandemic. God is humbling mankind. God is humbling us. God is humbling you. God is humbling me. Kaya habang nangyayari ang lahat ng ito, ay eh, karirin na natin yung pagiging humble before the Lord. Because when we do, ang sabi dyan sa James, when we humble ourselves before the Lord, He will lift us up. And once again, sinuportahan niyan ng 1 Peter chapter 5, 6-7, and I will read it once more. Humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand, that He may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. In God's perfect timing, matatapos din ang lahat ng ito. Gano'ng karami sa atin? Gusto matapos ito agad? Amen. But we actually don't know until when. We're praying that it will be over soon. At hindi lang siya matapos, kundi pag siya natapos, we can all go back to our lives. But something tells me we're not gonna go back to the way we used to be. By the way we were doing things. No. This thing is changing us. This will change us. We will never be the same again. Kaya ang dapat natin gawin is to humble ourselves before the Lord and wait patiently before Him, trusting and believing that as we surrender to Him all of our anxieties, as we surrender to Him all of our struggles, He will lift us up. Knowing all of these things, make this your prayer for today. Help me, Lord, to overcome all my struggles in life. Paki-screenshot yan. Paki-zoom yung slide sa inyong laptop or TV. Kindly post it on your Facebook as a story, Instagram. Share it to people. Hashtag Rise Up Church. Hashtag para sa atin lahat ito. Say them once more with me. Help me, Lord, to overcome all my struggles in life. Let's say it again. Help me, Lord, to overcome all my struggles in life. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity you've given us to worship you and to hear your word once again. Hayaan mo, Lord, na manamnam namin yung mensahe ng James chapter 4 that reminds us na mga several things that we can do so that we can overcome our present struggles. And we surrender all to you, Lord. We go down on our knees to humble ourselves before you. We are broken before you today, Lord. Wala kami pwede ipagmalaki, ngunit lahat isinusuko namin sa iyo. Lahat ng aming takot, lahat ng aming alalahanin, at kami naniniwala that even as we worship you today, you will give us the peace that this world cannot give, the peace that transcends all understanding. And we resist, reject, rebuke all works of Satan in Jesus' name. And we declare him powerless. Hindi siya magtatagumpay sa buhay ng iyong mga anak. Help your people during this time, O God, so that we will overcome, so that we will rise up. Help me, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help all of us, Lord to overcome all our struggles in life. As we pray all of this, in the name of the Father, 
the Son and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, all God's people say, Amen. Let us continue to worship the Lord through our tithes and offerings. In our church, we have what we call Faithful Financial Supporters, or FFS. As partners in the ministry, our FFS commit themselves to give a monthly financial support for the ministries of our church. Let us prepare ourselves to give our tithes and offerings. Giving is worship. When we give our tithes and offerings, we are worshiping God. The Bible teaches us that we should be faithful in worship and be faithful in giving. The Bible says, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 9 and 10. Honor the Lord by giving Him the first part of all your income, and He will fill your barns with wheat and barley, and overflow your wine vats with the finest wines. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17 and 18. Tell those who are rich not to be proud and not to trust in their money, which will soon be gone. But their pride and trust should be in the living God who always richly gives us all we need for our enjoyment. Tell them to use their money to do good. They should be rich in good works and should give happily to those in need, always being ready to share with others whatever God has given them. Luke chapter 6, verse 38. For if you give, you will get. Your gift will return to you in full and overflowing measure, pressed down, shaken together to make room for more and running over. Whatever measure you used to give, large or small, will be used to measure what is given back to you. Let us pray for our tithes and offerings. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to worship you through our giving. We recognize that whatever we have comes from you. We willingly obey what you have commanded in your word, to be faithful in giving our tithes and offerings. We believe that you will bless everyone who is faithful to you. We pray for those struggling in many areas of their lives, including their finances. We continue to worship and humble ourselves before you to give you our everything. Receive our giving, receive our worship. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank the Lord for the message that we have heard today through our speaker. Thank you for joining us in our online worship service. We hope and pray that our online worship service had been a blessing to all. We would like to be of service to you and help you grow more in faith. Connect with us through our Rise Up Church Facebook page. Subscribe to our Are You Church YouTube channel and have access to view live and recorded video messages by Pastor Roman Guevara. Be an encouragement to friends and family by sharing these timely messages on all your social media accounts. We hope to have you again in our online worship service. Invite friends and family to worship with us as well. God bless us all.